Okay, partners, we're going to talk about Blueberry, Mobius's Blueberry. If you don't know about this book, I'm going to keep it real right now. You know, Mobius, also known as Jean Giard, is a French comic book artist. One of the best, if not the best. Jack is the king, but let me tell you, Mobius, Jean Girard, is the emperor, okay? So let's just keep that just straight up, 100%, okay? French, Ama this guy's a master, okay? Mobius, his real name, Jean Girard, he had a period, I believe in the late 80s, where he went by the Mobius moniker for a number of different projects. Uh, Incal was one of them, we will be talking about that at some point. And this is Blueberry, a strip he did for uh, many years. And I got a chance to get this book at Comic-Con San Diego a couple years ago at the Comic Book Legal Defense Fund. They had some copies of these books that were printed by Graffiti Design. They're hard to get. And uh, they're in English. So you can get Blueberry in, in French easily. English, a little harder to do. Um, these are signed. Biscuits, yeah, that's right. Signed by the man himself, Mobius. Very excited. Uh, let's talk about this because I love westerns, clearly. Probably Missouri, as you know, my book. Um, and he just he just brings it to the next level. So let's dive into Blueberry right now. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, everybody, we're diving into Mobius's Blueberry. Uh, this came without a dust jacket, so I don't know what the dust jacket was, but uh, I really love this the way this is uh, made. It's just great. And let's look at Jean Girard's work here. Um, and let me look at here, just open us up here with this beautiful image of uh, Blueberry on his horse. And what's great about this book, and we're not going to go into this because this is about this particular edition. And um, you probably won't have this edition. You'll get a different one. But this is kind of cool. I didn't know that Blueberry was an historical figure. So we go into kind of the history of Lieutenant Blueberry and all that kind of real world stuff, which is really cool as a history fan. And this is like a good like 30 pages of his history. And it goes through who he was. So I was really stoked about that. And now let's go into um, the, the, the magnificent work of uh, Mobius, as well as the writer I should call out, um, Jean-Michael uh, Charlier. So first thing I noticed when I started reading this was this is very different than Incal and some of the other work he's done. Um, this is all about brush and um, just amazing, amazing brushwork. He is not playing around and he is um, just using some wonderful brushwork. Now, again, you still have his kind of like classic modeling and, and kind of um, um, hatching, but he is, it's all brush. I mean, it looks like it's all brush to me. He might've used a crow quill too. Um, but it's definitely, there's no pretty graphs. There's no tech pins in this that I can see. I could be wrong, but that's what my eye's seen. I really like the coloring too of this book. Um, I like the flat, the flat colors. Um, and I just really like the way they're used in this book. Um, it's just kind of the style that I really dig. So really got into it. I started counting panels. I mean, he's putting, you know, nine to 12 panels a page. He's not... You know, there is no, you know, deconstruction or, um, you know, decompression, rather, of the comic form. He is putting a lot in here. Each page has got a lot of stuff going on. I love this one here. Just, I love him going fast. And the horse is, like, going faster than it. And it falls off. And this is just such a really, really cool image of this horse falling off. I just I just love the way that looks there. That's great. Um, so this is Blueberry, and I have two of the volumes. I think there were seven. 
that uh, Mobius did. And um, they're, they're a little tricky to find in English, but you can find them. And I just love it. It's just, I love Western, but I would say even if you're not into the genre, just as a, as a student of the game, I think you gotta check this out. You gotta see, you know, this is European comic books. This is European. It looks and feels European, but that's not, I don't say that in any bad way at all. It's It's got a lot of detail. He's putting a lot of stuff in each panel. And um, I mean, these took a while to do. Notice he could have at some point did some of these without the backgrounds, but that would just take away from the flavor of the atmosphere of these locations. And you know, Mobius lived, uh, there was a part of his life where he did live, um, I believe in the Southwest. And that's where he got this love for this kind of area and this, um, the visuals of like the Arizona, New Mexico kind of Southwest look. Um, backgrounds everywhere. He's not skimping. This is wonderful stuff. I would love to see what kind of reference he was using, uh, how he did his, how he did some of his uh, backgrounds and, and just the, uh, the feel of the book. It's really good. This one has like uh, four short stories in it. They're not so short, but they're four stories are in this story, in this book. And uh, well, again, look at the detail on uh, just the the adobe walls, right? And he's doing that everywhere. Everything has a lot of marks, a lot of texture, and that texture really makes the story sing and really gives it a kind of authenticity or a just a good feeling. Look at this here. You know, he's got these, I love those kind of um, action lines showing something going on. Really muted colors here, you know, but then it'll, it'll switch out. And, you know, this is really strong, but a lot of great use of color. And everybody's costumed really well, too. I mean, a lot of research went into this of how to do the bandoleros, you know, these, uh, you know, guerrilla fighter guys, how to do the different um, cowboys and and lieutenants in army and things like that. Everyone had a costume that looked real. It's very grounded. It was very, I mean, this could have been used as, as a, as a like production, film production kind of thing. Really great stuff. He is some of the best. And we're gonna go into some more Mobius too later on in other, in other episodes. But I think this is one of my favorites. Um, and I just bought it too, so I'm more, I'm probably more excited. I love the coloring here, all the different, if you just kind of pick out all these colors and all these little spots, just really great stuff. I'm gonna zoom in here. Um, like this just blue, beautiful blue contrasted with this yellow, and then this yellow sky. And I do love the solid, solid color, you know? Blue and orange, you get your complimentary here, you know? Um, so a lot of great color theory in this in this book. Yeah, this is one of the masters. And um, you know, it is verbose though. There is writing, you gotta read it. There's a lot of stuff talking. Uh, and maybe this might feel a little old school because of this. You know, it does have a bit of an old school kind of like look and feel and pacing. Uh, wow, that's great, look at that. This is really, really cool. But I think it's, I think it's totally worth it. Yeah, look at that. It's almost a different style than what he's doing here. Yeah, I'm just gonna jump. Yeah, this is great, great stuff. This is Mobius, man. This is um, the real deal. I would highly, highly recommend finding it, getting yourself a copy of Blueberry. Uh, as a guy who likes westerns, clearly. Um, Westerns are a hard genre. It's a hard genre to find. I mean, there's the big stuff like Jonah Hex, things like that, but sometimes it's hard to find a good Western. And so uh, this this is definitely one of the classics. And look at these end pages. Look at that. I just want to end on that end page. That is really, really great. I would love to see the original ink drawing of this. Uh, but this is, 
This is the level of detail he's putting on every panel and every one of these things. Every panel has this level of, of detail and marks. You know, he, he is putting each of these little bushes and each of these rocks and he's sitting here and he's doing that. And that takes a lot of time, effort, and understanding of how to see things and how to do it. So big, big fan. There you go. This is Mobius's Blueberry. Feel free to check out you know, the Patreon, what's going on with me with my own comic, uh, Shangri-La States. And I have a daily strip I'm doing there as well. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the video. Let me know what you guys think of Mobius. What are some of your favorite Mobius stuff, okay? Thanks, guys. Have, have a good one. Bye.